as an Egyptian, I do not see that the Egyptian situation is improving at all. In fact, I see that it is declining. Now, the Egyptian situation has had a negative and direct impact in my life and my family life. Someone born and raised in Egypt, this is my experience. And because of how I feel about the Egyptian nation and the tremendous anger that I have towards this nation and the way it operates, I have decided finally to research the root of this issue. Yes, everything that happens has a root. So it is important to look at what is happening now and then look at where this is coming from. Well, I read many books. I read the Bible. This is an Arabic Bible. I read the Quran, al Karim. I read so many books. But I decided to start researching Egypt because in the Bible because the Bible talks a lot about Egypt. So I will read to you two brief statements from the scriptures. Starting with King James Bible version, the book of Genesis, uh, chapter 9 and verse 18 says, And the sons of Noah that went forth of the ark were Shem and Ham and Japheth. Moving on to Genesis chapter 10 and verse 6, it says, And the sons of Ham, Cush and Mizraim and Phut and Canaan. So the sons of Ham are Cush. Cush is the nation of Ethiopia. Misraim is the nation of what you all call Egypt. But we, until this day, call ourselves Misraim. In Hebrew, it is Misraim. Foot is the nation of Libya. Canaan, the nation of Canaan. Now, I decided to go a step further and look up the word ham in the Zondervan Bible Dictionary. And the definition of ham is warm, hot, and hence the south. Also, an Egyptian word meaning black, black, black. The youngest son of Noah. So, with that said, I read to you three factual uh, resources. And I have breaking news, breaking news to all of you out there who want to say that the Egyptian people are white. In America, the white people, yes, the white people descendants of Europeans claim that Egyptians are white people. Egyptians are not white. They are black. Now, there are also Egyptians out there, many uh, Egyptians that are Christians and Coptics especially, run around and say that Egyptians are white. To you also, I want to say that Egyptians are black. Egyptians are not white. Now, you can look at me and say, well, you're not black. Right, I'm not black, but I'm not white. I have been mixed. I am a descendant of mixed Egyptians, mixed with European colonizers. But in the sun, I do not burn. I do not get red. I turn darker and darker and darker. And also this video, it tends to make, you know, light-skinned people look even lighter because of the lighting. But regardless, if you are Egyptian, Christian, especially Coptic, and you are white, because there are very white Egyptians, guys. There are Egyptians who have green eyes and 
like really light brown hair and I always wonder well, why do they look different from me if you are white and you are in Egypt and you're Christian and Coptic especially I'm here to tell you that Egyptians are not white you are white because you are a descendant of a white European colonizer or you are just simply European that has moved into Egypt and stayed there and had kids there and kept being white. So, with that said, I again, I want to break the news to everyone that Egyptians are not white. We are black people. Go to Nuba, Nubia, and you will see that the people there are very dark people. I don't like to say black because this is black. This is black. But they are a brown, very brown people. If you go to the city of Komombo in Egypt, forget Nubia because, you know, that's a bit of a different nation, but in, uh, in Komombo, a, a pure Egyptian city, people are dark-skinned, very melanated. In fact, my siblings are much darker than me. So again, with that said, please do not walk around and say Egyptians are white. Now, I gave you three pieces of evidence, but there is a ton of evidence out there. Like if you go to the Egyptian Museum in Cairo, you will see in the chamber of uh, King Tut Anchemun, which y'all call Tut Ankhamun, is a black. They're all black, black people. 